guys it's jessie and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video i know i haven't posted on this channel in ages it seems i've just been so 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 busy but now hopefully we'll be getting back on track so for today's video we have the next update to my pan nose eyeshadow series i've been doing this series for a while on my channel so if you're not caught up i will link it up in the cards so you guys can watch the previous updates and see all our progress but basically in this project i'm just working on hitting pan or hitting a 20 use goal on these eyeshadows that I've randomly generated. So I have five different eyeshadows in this project plus a lid setting shade slash a cream shade that I work on each month. So without further ado I will just get straight into it. So I'm going to start off with the lid setting shade because that's probably the most boring part um, and the shade we had in last month was from the Be Perfect Carnival Antidote palette and we have the shade Dove in and as you can see we do have a pan in there. It's kind of that middle shade there at the top. I hope you'll be able to see it um, but we did hit a pan in that one that just took five uses this month for 20 uses total and we did hit that pan and i'm very pleased about it then we moved on to my escape pod palette from kaleidos and the shade we are working on at the moment is lo-fi here so we don't have a pan just yet but as you can see a pretty good dip i won't roll in the next shade just yet sometimes i like to do it early but i don't know how deep these shadows are and i have a feeling they are a little bit deeper than this but um i am just working from newest to oldest palettes in my collection so it'll be my next newest one and I'm not exactly sure which one that is but anyway I will talk about it next month because hopefully we will have just about started working on that but that is the lid setting shade we're working on at the moment so then going into my actual pan those eyeshadow shades I'm going to go from least to most progress so we have the shade dreamer from my Maybelline nudes of New York palette I will insert the progress pictures now so you'll be able to see hopefully But I've used this one four times this month for six uses total and this is the progress here. We were working on this in a previous project so that's why there is a pretty big dip um, but I just don't know how deep these pans are. This one is super deep so I don't know whether these ones are the same depth. I would presume that they are but again a really good dip in here. We have only used it six times so we do have a decent amount of uses left to potentially hit pan. 14 uses. I do think we'll be able to hopefully but obviously who knows but we are making slow and steady progress on that one it's not the nicest of shimmers so i do have to layer on a shade over the top i'm wearing it today with a shade from the kaleidos um shishimi city palette on top um just to kind of make it a little bit more sparkly but i do quite like it in this look then we have the shade dahlia from my um odin's eye alva palette i love this shade again i'll put in progress pictures if i have them But the shade Dahlia is just this one here. It is a gorgeous kind of purpley pink shimmer shade. I've used this one five times this month for five uses total. We only rolled it in last month. But it is such a stunning, stunning, stunning shimmer shade. I am obsessed with it. I will swatch all these out for you so you guys can see what they look like. So up top there is the shade from the Maybelline News of New York palette. And below is the kind of more pinky purple shade Dahlia there. You can kind of see there. It's just Dahlia's got so much more kind of sparkles running through it. Um, but it's both very pretty shades. But yeah, so I use this one five times this month for five uses total. Again, just slowly make my way through this. I don't do pinky purple looks all the time. So I'm just slowly kind of powering through. I don't think we'll hit pan but I do think we'll hit the 20 uses in the next couple of months. Then we have the shade Boy from my uh, Carly Bybel palette, my ABH1. And that is just the shade up here. We have used this one seven times this month for seven uses total. Um, I think you can start to see some brush marks in there, but no real dip. It's quite a dark shade, so I don't have to use too much of it, but I often use it kind of in the outer corner. And it's quite a good shade for that. Um, but yeah, there's not too much progress in that one. Then we have the shade Mind Slip, which we are quite close to rolling out, but not quite. So definitely next month we'll be rolling this one out. I've used this one 10 times this month for 17 uses total, and it is just this shade down here. Uh, I don't know how we can see in the Urban Decay shades, but there is starting to get a little bit of a dip in there. Uh, I don't know if you can see at the bottom there, there is a slight dip. Um, again, it's very, very minor um, and they're very hard pressed shades, but we have used it 17 times in total. So three more uses and then next month we should be able to roll that one out. And then finally, we have the shade Bora Blue from my Made by Mitchell Head in the Clouds palette.
and I used this one three times this month for 20 uses total so that does mean we will be able to roll it out of the project now you can just see a kind of light dip forming in there really really nothing too much I often use this one as an inner corner pop um, and it looked really nice but um, yeah that one's been on the project for a while so I'm really excited to roll that one out now and we can work on something new okay so for some statistics I have a total of 821 eyeshadow pans in my collection 49 of them do have pan in that and that brings us up to a pan percentage of 5.9% so it is not the highest it's been in a project but it is higher than it was in January so we are making some progress so I will just put in to my random number generator any number between 1 and 772 because that is the number of shades without pan so I'm gonna be randomly generating a shade from my collection and that is gonna be 410 so that's kind of a middle eyeshadow I guess not too old not too new um, but 410 is going to be from my Beauty Bay Age of Opulence palette, which is definitely exciting. I haven't played around with that one too much. And that is going to be the shade Prohibition. So I'm not sure what this one looks like. Oh, okay. That's actually going to be quite easy. Oh, actually, I will just swatch that out and compare it because that does look kind of similar to my shade Boy in there. Um, so I just swatched them both out to compare. Yeah, so that is what those two shades look like. So slightly different, but I would use them in the same way. So I think sadly I am just gonna have to generate a different shade for that one. So sadly we can't use the Age of Opulence palette there. So we're going to randomly generate another shade, which will be 139. So that's an older palette, 139 is gonna be also another shade that i think might be too similar that cypress umber from my um, modern renaissance palette again another kind of dark matte brown so i'm not even going to swatch that out i don't think we'll be able to use that so randomly generating again we have 266 which is gonna be from my carly Bible palette again but that is going to be um the shade aura and that is definitely different we can use that one that is this kind of pinky red shade here i actually don't think I've touched this shade at all so I'm very excited to play around with it well that's pretty it's kind of almost like a pink with some gold in it too definitely a little bit darker and ignore the smudging of this this is an awful swatched hand but that is the color story for this month so overall definitely a very pinky toned with kind of a little bit of a darker um shade in the middle there but i think i could use all of these together quite nicely i don't know why that took so long to get a shade that could actually work for this project but um i'm happy with the shade aura i think that's very fun i always love working on shimmers i think they're more fun to work on because they kind of get more variety so i really hope you guys enjoyed this update if you did don't forget to give it a like down below hit subscribe and turn the bell on a little club and make sure you turn on all notifications then you'll be notified every single time i post a new video if you want to watch all my other videos there'll be two on the screen now to pick from as well as a load linked up in the cards from earlier so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye